Hi everyone, so we're on to GCSE stats, so that doesn't mean, you know, if you did the GCSE statistics uh, qualification, it just, in general, everyone has to do statistics now. So it used to be mechanics and statistics, but, but now it's every, uh, separately, and you could choose, but now everyone has to do a bit of both, okay? So we're going to get into the swing of things, uh, and... Kind of just just go over the the basic stuff. Okay, so averages. We should know that the mode is the most common number. Okay, uh, we should know that the median is the middle number. Okay, and we should know that the uh, <coughs> that the mean is the average where you add them all up and then divide by the number that there are. Okay. And people, be careful with averages, because people, like especially the media, love messing with you, saying, on average, this and this. To, you know, people try and use statistics to sell you an agenda, sell you what they think, uh, an argument that they want to make, and they try and use statistics to do that. You know, if they want to be more convincing, they need to say that the mode, the, they need to say the mode was this, the medium was this, and the mean was this, right? Because people don't understand stats, that like you could say, on average, so let's say you had loads of people uh, with money, like their their salary. So let's say you had 10,000, 10,000, right? So two people earn 10,000 uh, pound. <laughs> actually, it's maybe do it more from a government point of view. So let's say uh, a million pound, right? Two people earn a million pound. And the rest of the population all went slightly different money. So, I don't know, 15,120 pounds and 14,000, you see what I mean? 10,000, 20,000, all this kind of stuff, right? On average, though, one million pound is the average wage if you use the mode. Do you see how ridiculous it is? Um, so, <laughs> you use different averages for different situations, and if you want to be convincing to someone, tell them all three averages. So if they all point in the same direction, then there must be some legitimate, uh, legitimacy to what someone's saying. So let's deal with this then. If we want to find the, the mode, the median, and the mean, uh, especially when we find the median, let's do the median first. We need them all to be in ascending order. So <laughs> tick them off as we go. So one's the smallest. Uh, four looks like the next smallest. I just cross them off six and then six and then seven and then uh, nine and then eleven and then twelve and we've also got fifty. Okay, so there's our list. Cross them all off uh, and check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So n is nine. There are nine values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good start. Okay, the median is the middle number. Let's talk about the formula to find the median. This is also called Q2, okay, because it means 50, Q means quarter. So it means the second, the two quarters added up. So 50% of the data, where's the middle value? So <clears throat> formally to do this, we would find the N over tooth value. So N is the number of values there are. Over 2 means, you know, obviously it says the middle. So here there are 9 values. So 9 over 2 is the 4.5th number, okay? So when you get a decimal, there's a, un, there's a rule, right? So when you get a decimal in that situation, you need to always round up. So we're looking for the fifth number in the list, you see? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Because there are four numbers either side. But just remember this n over 2 rule, because when you've got loads of data and stuff, uh, and you've got group data, that rule is really important. So the fifth term is 7. So the mean, uh, the median, sorry, is 7. Let's talk about the quartiles as well. So Q1, remember Q1 quarter, quarter, so the first quarter, the first 25% of the data. So we want to split our data into four sections, and where's that? that uh, first fourth section light. So this is n over fourth piece of data. And the same rules apply. So if it's a decimal, you round up. So 9 over 4 is 2.5. Remember, it's all th. 
which means we're looking for the third bit of data because we always round up. So the third number, one, two, three, is six. So Q1 is six, okay? And Q3, so Q3 is our, again, the third quarter of data, so the 75th percent of all the data is three quarters of the way. So this is our formula, three nth over four, okay? So three times, 9 over 4 is 3 lots of 2.5, so that is 7.5, which means we round up to the 8th bit of data. And the 8th bit of data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's 12. So the Q3 is 12, okay? If it's asking you to find the interquartile range then, that mean, the range means the difference. So the interquartile range, known as IQR, is going to be the difference in the last, well, the third and the first quartile. So the range tells you how spread out your data is. It's going to be 12, which is your Q3, subtract your Q1, which is 6. So the interquartile range is 6, OK? So I know it's getting a little bit messy, but so far we've done the middle number, which is Q2, remember? We've done Q1, and we've done Q3, and we've done the interquartile range. Let's do the mode then, the most common number. Well, we can see that the most common number is 6. So that's easy. And the mean is everything added up divided by the number that there are. So I've got a calculator emulator here, which is great. So 1 plus 4 plus 4, whoops, 6 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12 plus 50 equals all divided by 9 and if you press that S to D we get 11.7 so the mean is 11.7 notice how the average is different average is different then okay between the two of them so Q2 was 7 the me median was 7 the mode was 6 and the median uh, the mean is 11.7 so who do you believe who do you believe okay next <coughs> This time, so a bit quicker, we're going to go Q1, Q2, Q3. So we're going to do these stuff first, and therefore into quartile range, okay? So count, <laughs> first we need them in order, don't we, to find this? So let's do that. So two goes first, uh, three looks like it's next, four looks like it's next, five looks like that's next. Cross them off as you go, seven, uh, we've got ten, uh, we've got eleven, We've got 16, uh, we've got 18, we've got 20, we've got 21, and we've got 90. Cool, so that's that in order. Q1 is, remember, the nth over fourth bit of data. But let's do Q2 first, so nth over second bit of data. But how many bits of data are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this time we get the 12th over tooth, which is the 6th. But when you get a whole number, you need to go halfway between the 6th and the 7th, okay? So halfway between that bit of data and the next. So we need between the 6th and the 7th then. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's the 6th and 7th, so halfway between that is 10.5, okay? These are just kind of standard rules, standard convention. Um, so let's just make that clear. So if n over tooth is a decimal, you round up. If n over tooth is a, an integer, so a whole number, you go halfway between that number and the next one, okay? <laughs> so, Q1 then is going to be an over fourth, so 12 over four, so that's the third. So again, we round up between the fourth, sorry, go between the third and the fourth. But we take the average of the two, so the mean average of the two. So one, two, three. So that's halfway between that is 4.5, okay? And Q3, that's 3 nth over 4, remember? So that's going to be 3 lots of 3. So that's the ninth. And as it's an integer, it's between the ninth and the tenth. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 10th, halfway between that must be 19. Okay, so therefore the interquartile range, Q3 take Q1, it is going to be 19 subtract 4.5. So that will be, what's that, 14.5. Yeah. Cool, so there's our interquartile range. So we've got our mean, we've got our, uh, sorry, we've got our medians, we've got our quartiles. So let's go for the mode. So the mode is the most common value. But if you look at all the numbers, there is no common value. So there is no mode. There has to be uh, a, a most common number. And as there isn't, can't find it. Mean, hopefully we're getting this now. Add them all up, divide by the number there are. So we get um, 10 plus 3 plus 7 plus 2 plus 90 plus 5 plus 16 plus 11. Quite like this emulator actually. Plus 4 plus 18 plus 20 and plus 21. Divided by how many were there again? 12. Cool. So that's 17.25. <coughs> So again, notice how the averages just kind of mess us up a bit because they're totally different. And that's what's so good about stats in a way because it's quite interesting when people try and abuse stats uh, to try and convince us of something. Okay, that's that.